Some reptiles, like bearded dragons, can live for decades, but some reptiles, they have shorter lives. And today we're gonna go over the top five reptiles that live five years or less. My name's Adam, this is Diamond. You're watching Wicked's Wicked Reptiles, stick around. A few pieces of housekeeping, all of these that I'm talking about are their natural lifespans. I'm not talking about, well, your so-and-so will be dead in five years if you take care of it poorly. These are all the best possible lifespans that in this species. Okay, enough with the boring stuff, let's get to it. Number five, anoles. Now I'm gonna talk about green and brown anoles here because they are similar and the most common in the pet trade. Now, if you're from places like say Florida, you know what a green anole is because they're all around your backyard probably. These actually make pretty good pets if you don't mind your pet being not only small, but kind of fragile, pretty flighty, and difficult to handle most of the time. Although they can be handleable, for sure, you can get them that way. Most of the time, you're gonna want these guys in say, like a bioactive enclosure. If you want me to do a whole video on bioactives, I get a lot of those questions. Put a comment below and I'll be happy to do that or hit the like button so I know you want it. Anyway, anoles, they're insect eaters. They're not super big. We're talking about, these things never get over a foot, like eight inches type thing, right? And uh, they do need a UVB, they do need a basking bulb. They're diurnal, but I think this makes them great because for the short time you have them, if if you're someone who's awake during the day or at home during the day, you can see these guys move around. It's not like a nocturnal animal where, let's suppose that you work from home and you go to sleep at a regular hour, nine, 10 at night, whatever, you'll never really see them if they're nocturnal. Diurnal animals, you'll see more often. Oh, and also you can cohab them, not just together, but communally, which we'll get actually more to later with other reptiles, but you can watch a whole video right here all about that if you so choose. Tiny, semi-arboreal animals that do really well in groups if you give them a big enough enclosure, and they're probably gonna live around five years. That's their lifespan. Very, very rarely more than six years. Number four, something that might live a little bit longer but usually doesn't, tricolor hognose snakes. This is something I talked about a few weeks ago, so we'll keep it kind of brief with these guys. They are egg laying machines. We're talking about sometimes three or more clutches of eggs per year because they die on average between three and five years. Some say seven, six, maybe eight. Eight is the longest lifespan ever confirmed for this species, where most other similar types of uh, hognose snakes, like Easterns and Westerns, can live up to 20 pretty easily. So it's a very short lifespan, especially for a snake. So these guys are rear fang venomous, they're beautiful, they very rarely exceed two and a half, three-ish feet, something like that. And they're pretty easy to keep as far as hognose snakes or really any smaller colubrid goes. I love them, I think they're beautiful. I, I mean, they're fantastic. And they're gonna be around five, let's say four to six years. Let's average it out, whatever, because it's very difficult to nail down. Um, but of course, be ready if they do live eight years, if you get like a record-breaking snake, be ready, don't, you know, oh, I only want it for this long and not have a plan. Make sure you have a plan. Number three, something kind of uncommon to hear YouTubers about reptiles talk about, common house geckos. Now, these guys I've never spoken about before, ever. These guys are pretty common in people's homes if you live in a tropical, subtropical region, basically anywhere in the world. Because although they're from places like South Pacific and Asia, they can be found in places like Florida now. There are over 83 populations of, well, places they're not supposed to be around the world now, including in the US and several states. So you might find these guys in your house as house gecko implies, that's kind of where you find them a lot of the time. Now these guys are tiny, they're itty bitty, three inches somewhere around there on I mean, maybe a little bit lower or higher in terms of how many inches. Why don't I just say smaller or bigger? They could be smaller or bigger. Now you're gonna notice a trend here that a lot of these are not the most handleable now these guys, they're fast, like super fast. Like if they get out of the enclosure, you have to catch them immediately because they can climb walls and I mean, best of luck. They're so tiny, they're hard to find and they're fragile. So even if you want to handle them, be very careful. I wouldn't hand these to a kid who doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, just not the best animals for that, I would say. 
Now, three to five years is pretty common for these guys. So if you get one that dies at four years, it's pretty common. Don't worry about that. They are insect eaters, so they're insectivores. Just like the anoles that they can actually live with. A lot of people will put them in community type enclosures. There's a video right here, more about it. Don't just go ahead and start throwing a bunch of things in an enclosure, do your research first. I'm just letting you know it's possible. House geckos, they're called common house geckos, but in the reptile community, they're not that common. They're actually more common there's a hognose snake hissing at me. I'm not even talking about you. In the reptile community, house geckos are more commonly used for feeders for other reptiles than actually kept as pets. Um, I think if you're looking for a small gecko like this, you're probably better off with a morning gecko, but I mean, that's just my opinion. Stop hissing at me. Regardless, house geckos are really cool. They live for about three to five years. They're tiny, they're fun to watch in their enclosures and because they're so small and they can be in communities pretty easily, pretty readily if you do the right thing, then they're pretty fun to do that with as well. Number two, another one of the community boys, long-tailed lizards. Now these guys can get up to 12 inches, but most of that is tail. These guys aren't really much bigger than a house gecko in terms of their body. The tail though is ridiculous, like three times the length of the body sometimes. So they're pretty long, but again, most of that is tail. How many times am I gonna say that exactly? The lifespan is basically five years. This is an animal that I've kind of looked into getting many times when thinking about a community setup. I just have never taken the plunge because I just feel I need more research, but this would be an animal I would put inside there. The nice thing is these guys, although fast, are long enough with that tail that you can see them even if they're hiding. They do really well in planted bioactive uh, vivariums, they do really well in community setups, and they are a semi-arboreal lizard. So you want something that has a little bit of height, just like with the house gecko or the anole, or I mean, a lot of these things are arboreal actually. I mean, I really could have put long-tailed lizards, house geckos, and anoles together because they can all live kind of in the same environments and they're kind of similar sizes, they all eat insects. These guys are no different, they fit the bill, they eat insects, which is, pretty awesome, I think, because I mean, to me, it's just easy, right? You have some crickets and mealworms, dubia roaches, maybe superworms, maybe as a treat, you get them something else, like a hornworm, bing, bang, boom, bobs, your uncle, Franz, your aunt, uh, Jeffrey's your third cousin, twice removed, I don't know. Either way, I think that these guys are pretty simple to take care of, and they look awesome, and the way that they move is kind of crazy, because their legs are so long, and their tail is long too. That's it, okay, we're done talking, let's move on to number one. Oh, before we do, this, the ugliest shirt that you could ever possibly wear of me with this Snilk thing. I don't know, anyway, it's back in stock, it's sold out. Back, it's back in stock now. Okay, number one. Number one is something you obviously knew because I talk about this so often. It's one of my gripes with this species that I talk a lot of trash about, chameleons. Now, don't get me wrong, chameleons are not bad pets. I don't, don't want to paint them that way, I hope I haven't. I just think that uh, the lifespan is undoubtedly shorter than most species. I read articles when I was a kid, I remember, oh, chameleons are the shortest spanned, lifespan, shortest lifespan, have the shortest lifespans of any four-legged animal because there are certain species that they average less than one year, one year. Then basically it's just to produce eggs. They grow up fast, they produce eggs, and then they, they, they die. Even things like panther chameleons, a lot of people will say three years is a pretty good life for them. Now there are animals like, for example, Jackson's chameleons that can live up to 10 years. But even then, five to 10 years is the lifespan basically that you'll find. Even veiled chameleons, five years is pretty standard in terms of a lifespan. Chameleons are, they're fragile, first of all, but even if you give them the best environment ever, even if you dedicate your life to keeping chameleons, you still might have an issue keeping them alive for a very long time just simply because, well, the same reason you can't keep your grandma alive for 200 years. It's just like humans don't do that, you know? This is one of the things that kind of prohibits me, or in my mind anyway, determines that I will not get one, just simply because I love my animals. I love creating a bond with them. I love having them for a long time. For example, Cheech, my leopard gecko, I've had him for 12 years, and I want to have animals like this that I can grow with, and now that I have a channel, you guys can grow with as well. It seems like you guys love Diamond, and I think it would be very sad, not only for me, but for an audience, for people in my household, that if I got a chameleon, a carpet chameleon is what I really want. I really want a carpet chameleon. I think they're amazing, they're beautiful. I think I could take care of one. But I mean, three years, three to five years is their lifespan. I don't want something I fall in love with and they die in three to five years. I remember having a hamster as a kid. The thing died in three years out of the blue. I cried a lot. 
I cried a lot. I don't like dead animals. It's very sad. We talked about last week, uh, you know, the saddest part about breeding, which is animals don't make it. I don't want an animal that's fully alive. And okay, you get the point. I think I'm like getting sad talking about my carpet chameleon that doesn't even exist. So those are the five reptiles with the shortest lifespans. What do you think? Do you agree with this list? Do you think that there are other ones that better fit the bill? I know like uh, Barbados thread snakes probably fit the bill, but anyway, you get the idea. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next week. That's where I get all of the ideas. And a special thank you. Well, first of all, if you hit like and subscribe, you're freaking awesome. Like that you are what makes the wheels on the bus go round and round. And a special thank you to the Patreon supporters. You guys are freaking amazing. We're adding some new tiers soon. So if you've ever considered it, now is a great time to get into it. You get free discounts on the merch, free discounts on the merch. Oh my goodness. You get free extra content. You know about the Dream Reptile. I finally got in my collection. I am so happy. Their name is Mushu. I'll show them in a few weeks. But anyway, it's on Patreon right now. Videos early, all that sort of stuff. And new perks coming soon. That was a long ad read. It wasn't even for an ad. It was just for... What day is it? Okay, I'm gonna get this right. Because I do videos twice a week, that means that I'll see you on Monday. I got it. All right, see you on Monday.